Hey gamers, what's up? Um, back again with another pickups video that I got uh, from the exchange. One of them is a HD DVD, and the rest are games. So let's get started here. The first game I got here for two dollars and fifty cents, completely boxed with book for the Super NES is Samurai Showdown completely boxed with booklet inside not a bad deal for two dollars and fifty cents you can't beat that uh, another one I picked up here uh, this is for the regular Xbox these are mixed games they're not like all one system it was only a dollar and it was the uh, Unreal Championship the final conflict right there a little bit of paper sticky on it I'll be fixing that up later it is uh, fully complete with the book and the game not bad for a buck I must say uh, get another classic game here for the Sega Genesis one of my favorite systems uh, actually my favorite old school system would probably be the Genesis and um, it's called uh, Zoop complete inbox right there uh, this was only two dollars and fifty cents I've never tried this game before I'm gonna try it though uh, maybe later on this week but it's fully complete inbox with manual next game I got here for I think it was 250 this is for the Xbox 360 it's a uh, Ridge Racer 6 it was only two dollars and fifty cents fully complete with booklet right there and the disc is perfect I checked the disc out uh, earlier and it looks really good there uh, this is that movie I was telling you about here I got an HD movie because I still have my 360 HD DVD player I uh, collect the HD movies for it uh, not really into the blu-ray yet I mean it's not a big deal to really get into that right now. The only thing is this, like I told you before in a recent uh, video, is that uh, it just holds more information. As far as picture wise, I really can't see no difference. But this is called uh, Streets of Fire right here for uh, an HD DVD and it was only a dollar so what the hell. Got a uh, PlayStation game here. Uh, it's a racing game. I like. I love racing games. Uh, New Man Hame put there for the uh, PlayStation One. Uh, you know, fully complete. This looks pretty good. Uh, no scratches whatsoever on this disc. It's a perfect disc. And that was only a buck. Can't beat that. Uh, another dollar game here for the uh, PlayStation One. Greatest hits. Uh, it's a uh, driver you are the wheel man uh, let's see what that's a big glare there uh, fully complete there uh, let's see the disc this is perfect there's no no scratches at all actually on it not bad Got another game here, NFL Quarterback 2000 for the uh, Sega Dreamcast, right there. Only a dollar. Like I like I told you before in a recent video, you know, there is nothing wrong with sports games. I mean, if you're a serious collector, you know, real serious collector, and you like games, you you know, you like all games, no matter if it's sports, whatever. It could be rugby, rugby, shuffleboard, whatever. But uh, yeah, it was only a dollar. It looks amazing. It says back here by uh, EGM. So I'm going to give this one a try. Even though 2K, uh, NFL 2K is my favorite uh, football game. Uh, I don't get into Madden. I don't like Madden. Uh, 2K was always my favorite. The last 2K game I got is NFL 2K5 for my ex regular Xbox. Uh, I just can't get into Madden. This, you know, 2K games is like my favorite. It'll always be my favorite. Okay, um, this one here is is 
a Sega Genesis game called Sega Club. It's called Wacky Worlds Activity Studio. I've never I've never seen this game before. It's not complete. It has uh, Sonic and Knuckles. I mean Sonic and Tails on the front of it. Uh, I tried this game out and it's uh, it's kind of neat. You can like build your own worlds. Uh, you can give them animations but they float around, they move around in the different type of worlds that uh, you get to pick from in this game. So I, I recommend this if you just like things like that. You can just create your like your own board, you know, with the little characters on it. You can add color to them. It's really cool. So I only paid um, two dollars and fifty cent for it, so I thought it was worth it. And my last game here for the PlayStation 1 was only a dollar. Uh, I love pinball games, and I've never seen this pinball game. But when I picked it up, I was like, really, it was like fucking cool, man, because I've never seen this. It's uh, Austin Powers Pinball right there for the regular PlayStation. Yeah, baby. We lost my mojo. I know, that was cheesy. But... Uh, it's complete. The disc is, is in really good shape. Uh, it just needs like a little bit of cleaning up. There's no scratches on it really. But uh, yeah, this was I tried this game out and it was uh, it's pretty cool. So if you like pinball games and you see it, uh, pick it up. You know, I only paid a dollar for mine, but uh, but uh, if you're into the pinball games, you know, on the systems, which like I am, I have a lot of them. Um, pick it up. Uh, one more thing I, I would want to say real quick. Uh, Cyrus649 did a video on Tekken 6. And he gave his opinion about it. And some guy wrote back to him, you know, saying that he didn't think it was fair what he said about it. Well, let me say this, okay? I am a big time, big time fighting game collector I have a lot a lot a lot of fighting games for uh, all the systems that I have and I'm gonna do a video on each system of fighting games that I have first up will be the regular Xbox down to the Dreamcast uh, down to the Sega you know and down to the uh, Super NES and Sega Saturn and and, and more but uh, I'm going to have to agree with Cyrus649. Tekken 6, it's not a fighting game. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I have it. He's right about what he said about the game. And like he said, if you go to Versus, you verse a computer or whatever, yeah, you could play like that. But it's not a fighting game. It's an adventure fighting game. That's exactly what it is. Like when that beginning of that video, that game starts, and he's walking through, and you know, and he's, you know, punching people out and shit. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. It's not a regular fighting game. It's an to me, it's an adventure slash fighting fighting game. So, uh, kudos to you, uh, Cyrus. I totally agree with your video. Uh, stick with your opinions and. You know, stick with uh, what you feel about the game. You know what I mean? That's, uh, you know, if he doesn't like it, that's uh, that's just too bad. You know, everybody has their own opinion about games. You know, people might not like what I have to say sometime on here, you know, about games or my reviews or whatever. But, uh, hey, everybody can say what they want. It's a free country, you know. So... Yeah, but I just wanted to touch base with that on that. But, uh, yeah, guys, keep gaming. I, I'll be back with another video soon. Um, I'm going to get in. I'm, that really, that video he made, made you know, that, that just made me want to go and just start playing my fighting games again. I've been playing Gears of War uh, 3, you know. I beat it already, but I want to beat it on the, you know, on hard and insane or whatever. But, uh, yeah, guys, keep gaming out there. Cyrus, uh, keep up the good videos. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Please subscribe. 
uh, to my channel. I will definitely subscribe back, and uh, I do trades. So if anybody wants to trade, oh yeah, the Sega Genesis 2 here. Remember, guys, it's still it's still up for trades. It works perfect. A lot of people probably do have a Sega Genesis Model 2, but I have an extra one. I don't have the cords to it, but I could send you a power pack with it and maybe even a controller. The only thing you would have to get is the A and V cables. So if you want to do a trade for games, uh, let me know. Send me a you know send me a message and we can do that. All right. Take it easy, guys. Keep gaming. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.